Running a successful IT company was my dream, and I have dedicated most of my life to turning it into a thriving empire. The fast-paced world of technology was my domain, and I enjoyed the challenges it presented. However, amidst the hum of servers and the glow of computer screens, some part of me felt incomplete. One day, chance led me to a quaint cafe. It was there that I saw her for the first time, Emily. She was an oasis of warmth in a sea of my hectic life. Her radiant smile and genuine kindness seemed like a breath of fresh air that I didn't even realize I needed. As the days turned into weeks, my visits to the cafe became more frequent. Emily and I had conversations that went beyond the usual pleasantries. We talked about our dreams, fears, and everything in between. She had a way of making the complex world around me seem simpler and more accessible. My heart, which had long been walled off by walls of ambition, began to open to the possibility of something beyond the boardroom. Emily's simplicity was a refreshing contrast to the complexities of my business, and her compassion was a salvation for my tortured soul. Our friendship grew into a beautiful love that defied societal expectations. I, an entrepreneur with a busy schedule, found solace in her presence. She, a compassionate waitress, saw something in me beyond suits and business jargon. Our worlds collided and merged in a way that felt so natural, so right. One evening, as the sun colored the sky orange and pink, I got down on one knee and with a ring in my hand asked Emily to be mine forever. Surrounded by our loved ones, we exchanged vows that were as sincere as the love that blossomed between us. Emily's decision to quit her job at the cafe and start a charity was no surprise to me. Her heart was as big as the universe and her capacity for kindness knew no bounds. Together we embarked on a journey that combined our passions, my passion for innovation and hers for helping others. Three happy years passed after that. Our love grew stronger every day and our partnership flourished not only in marriage, but in the way we touched the lives of those in need. Our love story became a beacon of hope showing that love can be a powerful force for change. However, even the most beautiful stories can have unexpected twists and turns. One day, curiosity led me to explore the possibilities of our smart home system. An image flashed on the screen and shattered my world Emily, my beloved wife, in a moment of intimacy with another man. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes, I thought it was a mistake. The pain was indescribable. A rush of emotion washed over me. When I looked more closely, I realized it was my wife and our house. They were playing sports, so to speak. She was on top, riding like an insatiable horsewoman. She was screaming loudly. Oh yeah, I've been dreaming about this for a long time. The bed was shaking so much I thought it might not hold. I closed my laptop and headed home. My car sped by regardless of the rules, like there was a fire at home. Running into the house, I came face to face with Emily, and the gravity of my discovery lay in the air. She didn't deny it. Instead, she confessed, her voice trembling and her eyes full of remorse. She explained that it had been a fleeting mistake, an oversight. She claimed that her love for me was unwavering, and this was nothing more than an unfortunate misstep in our path. She said, Tom, I love you very much, but in three years in the bedroom, you've never once given me a happy ending. I was tired of doing it on my own. I couldn't wait any longer, so I found this guy at the athletic club. He's not very smart, but he makes me happy in bed the first time we did it in the car in the back seat. I didn't really like it so I brought him home. I love you very much, but you have to understand me. A storm of conflicting emotions raged inside me anger, betrayal, and the love that still burned. As I looked into her tear-filled eyes, I faced a choice. 
Would I find the strength to forgive, to believe that love could heal even the deepest wounds? Would I be able to believe that our bond was strong enough to weather the storm? In the end, I chose forgiveness. We decided to work on this problem together, I even said. Emily, I don't mind if you visit this guy once a month, if that's what you need. And I started taking intimacy classes. I'm getting better at it, a lot better. I can see how she likes it, as long as she's not faking it. 